Hey guys, Rochelle here with Amethyst Ascension. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for joining me again. So, you guessed it, I got my witch's roots. So, let's just get started. Uh, just so you know, I am sent this uh, box every month for my honest review. So, let's see what the theme is. Sorry, let's open that up a little bit. All right. The stem of health. Excellent, and how appropriate, right? Given what's going on in the world, so... Let me grab my glasses really quick, and I will read this first paragraph for you. All right. We truly look forward to the coming months of this bright and blessed half of the year. We fully embrace this time to rejuvenate, prepare, and open ourselves to receive blessings, knowing that there will always be joyful surprises just beyond our field of view. Just as if the moon was waxing, we focus on intentions of growth, abundance, prosperity, and health. These intentions are more prevalent now more than ever before as we navigate through the unknown path before us. In this vibrant and bright collection, we surround ourselves with helpful and inspiring energies so that we may step into the opportunities of growth that we have so readily prepared ourselves for. The magical items in this box are as follows. Awesome. Symbol of shoe or show. Oh, longevity. Oh, look at that. I love that. Sorry, it's kind of lopsided. There we go. This Taoism um, symbol of Shao, which is long, longevity and uh, well-being. It is an, an ancient Chinese philosophy attributed to Lao Tzu, 500 BCE, recognizing the ebbing and flowing of natural vibrations, especially or specifically the Tao, a cosmic life force which flows through all things. In his book, Of the Way, uh, Tao Te Ching, Zhu, upholds the re uh, relevancy of going with the flow to live life in peace with the self, others, and the ever-changing world. It is the um, Chinese character of Ideogram of Longevity. Its name stems from the god Shao Hashing, the surveillance of human destiny. Hmm. Very cool. Oh, commonly identified as one of the five blessings, the Shao affirms um, its accompanying Adige or Adji. May your life be as steadfast as the mountains and your good fortune as limitless as the seas. Alternately named the five fortunes or five fold path of happiness, the five blessings along with Shao, which is longevity, include good health, wealth, love, and virtue. Oh, I love that. That is excellent. Yes. And then we have lemon balm artwork. Is that not excellent? All right, let's see what oil we got this time. If I can get it open here. We have our dropper. Oh, no, don't get me started. I love popping these things. Uh, divine blend, I'm thinking, is what it is. Maybe not blend. And I don't know. Ritual body oil. We'll find out. Let's smell it really quick. I wish you could smell it with me. Oh, that's very minty. I love it. Yeah. I mean, when I think of 
mints, I think of good health. Definitely. So I love that very much. And then what do we got here? Oh, this looks excellent. Okay. All right. This is what it looks like on the front side. Look at that. That's so cool. It's the Ankh with uh, snakes around it. Let's see what it says. Healing. With serpents rising and flowers in bloom, for life's sake from the cosmic womb, healing powers flow through me, make me hale and whole, so mote it be. Mm, that is excellent. Oh, yeah. I love that. What do we have here? Oh, look at the amethyst. I love it. I mean, I could. It would be really tight on my wrist, but I never use these. I mean, I could restring it in an actual bracelet with some separators beyond there, but I love tearing these apart and using these in grid work, making short little grids, like about this, or small little grids like this, and I, um, oh, what do you call it? Laminate it. I just print them off, laminate it, and then I put my beads, small beads that I get, especially from here, or any small beads that you get, and create a whole... This one could be for like psychic development and all that and dreams, astral traveling. Oh gosh, I love it. That is excellent. What do we got here? We have some healing incense, which is excellent. Let me smell it really quick. Yeah, it smells really perfumey. I like it though. I do, I do. Lemon balm. Mm. All right, let's see here. Yeah, I love that smell. It's just like regular tea, like herbal tea. That's what it smells like. And let's see what we got here. Nice. Nice green, teal green, or green. Maybe it's just coloring in here, which is perfect for health. And I think that's everything in here. Yeah, so let me move this out of the way. Okay, so let's re read through everything. First, we have the lemon balm. It says, known for its long and illustrious history in magical workings. Lemon balm has been an essential herb to many types of healers and practitioners, derived from the Greek word Melissa, um, translated as the honeybee, lemon balm was once planted by the beekeepers of the temple of Artemis to convince bees to stay satisfied within close proximity. Mm. In addition to its sacred connection with Diana and invoking the goddess, it was commonly used throughout Europe as a dispeller of negative emotions and melancholy, almost always bound to the creative and inspiring minds of artists and writers alike. This wonderful emotional healer is commonly used during many water magic rituals and blended within healing elixirs to bring peace of mind and content of spirit. As we work diligently to sharpen our focus on specific intentions during these coming months, it is important that we allow the energies associated with lemon balm to help balance and maintain our conviction. Through the healing, oh, through the manifestation invoking real and lasting change in the energy that follows us throughout our daily routines, incorporate lemon balm within sachets that are placed underneath your pillow to bring relaxing sleep so that you can um, so that you may feel refreshed during the projects of the next day place lemon balm within a ritual bath to bring you closer to the goddess energy and in return refine your ability to attract to you those things that you are that you highly desire um, 
We highly recommend including lemon balm and elixirs that contain water and that are charged by the moon to bring forth the most potent and beneficial attributes. As you study and work with this powerful herb, allow yourself to feel vibrant, awake, and full of life. May you become compassion or companions with the spirit of lemon balm and rely upon her during these exciting and transformative months. The uh, celestial associations are Venus and the moon. The elemental connection is water and it is for ritual use only. Now we have the uh, lemon balm herbal grimoire um, artwork. And this is created by A.E. Alden, written and illustrated. Beautiful. And then we have the healing coin charm. Let me make sure I'm getting this in. Okay. And this says, Christopher Penzak is a witch, teacher, writer, and healing practitioner. His practice draws upon the foundation of both modern and traditional witchcraft, blended with the wisdom of mystical traditions from across the globe. This powerful spell coin was exclusively created into a um, pendant for this very collection. Inscribed upon the back of this coin is the following affirmation. And I will read it again for you. With serpents rising and flowers in bloom, for life's sake from the cosmic womb, healing powers flow through me, make me hale and whole. So mote it be. I love that. And then we have the tumbled amethyst bracelet. It says a stone of peace and happiness. Amethyst has always been a wonderful companion to those working towards positive change in their environment. These energies continue to bring balance into the emotional body and assist us during rituals of healing and renewal. As you wear this amethyst bracelet, allow yourself to relax and let go of any insecurities. Elemental connection is air and water. Um, planetary connection is Jupiter and the moon. We also have the healing exhale ritual incense um, sticks right here. And these say, um, these wonderfully fragrant ritual incense sticks were placed within the collection to allow you to focus on the healing process of breathing. As you allow the smoke from this incense to waft throughout your space, take a deep breath and exhale, visualizing negative thoughts and emotions leaving the body. Beautiful. We've got the Bright Blessings Mini Spell Candle. We have hand-rolled this Bright Blessings Mini Spell Candle with the intention of promoting prosperity and abundance in your current and coming rituals, project projects, or meditations as you allow the flame to dance before you. Take the time to resonate with the unique position that you find yourself in and the brilliant opportunities that stand ahead. Then we've got the Divine Mend. Okay, that's what it is. Divine Mend Ritual Body Oil with the Dropper. And it says we have created this ritual body oil with the intention of bringing you closer to the divine energy that we associate our rituals with each day. We have enchanted this magical anointing oil with lavender, lemon, sandalwood, and bergamot oils. In addition, we have included lemon balm herb as well. Inside your oil, you will find a Lumerian quartz said to personify oneness into your aura. We have also included a special mixture of our cosmic connection magical oil from our personal cabinet of witchery into the making of this anointing oil. And you know, I'm all about that, okay? I, I definitely love that cosmic connection. <laughs> I love it. And then we've got the last thing, um, which is the symbol of uh, show or show Book of Shadows reference page written and illustrated by A.E. Alden. The symbol of show reference artwork holds wonderful information regarding the path of happiness and induction of longevity within our lives. Placed within this ancient Chinese philosophy, placed within your book of shadows for reference while crafting and curating rituals. So there you go, guys. It says we have created this box with the intention of enhancing the magic that flows through your life. Allow the synchronicities and signs from your guides to manifest through the sacred objects placed inside of this collection. We send energies of bright blessings during the months to come. 
and this was the January 2021 uh, Witch's Roots box. The Stem of Death. So, or the... <laughs> The Stem of Health. Oh my God, I can't believe I said that. <laughs> so what is your favorite, guys? Um, for me, it's always the artwork, clearly. But just I love hearing about all of the ways that um, herbs can be used and what kind of powerful magic that you can make with these um, boxes every single month. So I definitely plan on doing something for health and prosperity with the stuff here except for I do plan on um, cutting these up here and using these in a um, like a crystal grid probably for um, psychic development and stuff like that but and astral traveling and and you know dreams remembering my dreams and all that good stuff but so this particular box you can get I believe for Oh, gosh, I think it's 29 You know what? I don't even know for sure. I will put the link down below that sends you over to the Witch's Roots. Um, I believe it's 29 plus tax for to the United States. And then they also ship to Canada and international. So if you do want to get in on this, I would suggest going over there and putting your email address in. Over at the Witch's Moon, which I will be putting the link down below because they do sell out usually every single month on these. So you're going to want to get in on these, you know, as soon as you can. Okay, so I hope you have enjoyed this and I am sending you love and light. Thank you so much.